to uh, wish all the uh, scientists and, and crew of the Terra a uh, very safe trip from Honolulu, Hawaii to San Diego, California, my old home. And I hope that you arrive uh, safely with uh, a lot of new information and a lot of new data from the Eastern uh, Pacific Gyre. So I bid you all aloha. Staying in this, this area for the next two days and then uh, heading back to San Diego. Over. Yes, for well, the next day I stayed in position in the Aloha station for sampling, scientific sampling, and uh, after I will reach uh, San Diego. And a captain from the Coast Guard. Uh, good, good copy and all of that. Nothing further. Coast Guard out. We have been going to station Aloha for uh, roughly on a one month interval for a period of four days every month since October of 1988. Uh, so the trade-off was to be far enough from the Hawaiian Islands to be outside the biogeochemical influence of the island chain, but to be sufficiently close to shore uh, to be able to support a month-long occupation. And one of the, the biggest um, discoveries I think we've made at Station Aloha in the 23 years we've been there is that the earth is changing. Plankton communities are changing. Uh, the ocean chemistry is changing. We have the longest record of ocean acidification of anywhere on the planet because of the enhanced carbon dioxide concentration that is in the upper ocean uh, due to the enhanced carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere. We really look forward to working with the terror scientists and the terror organization to uh, help interpret some of the data and to uh, share the data, our data from the North Pacific with uh, your data from the global expedition, uh, to try to get a better understanding of the way the oceans are uh, structured and how they function.